extra treat this week and it comes from a little known American film director by the name of Martin Scorsese who's made a film specially for us. I was absolutely over the moon when Scorsese agreed. It felt like we were going to be hosting our own mini premiere. He's at home and he's thinking about the lockdown through the lens of classic movies like Hitchcock's The Wrong Man. But what's clever about it is he's also using our current predicament to take a fresh look. Well, Mary, in a way, since March 13th, in quite a while now that I've been um, quarantined, <laughs> like many people who didn't realize that the, the lockdown was going to be so intense. We had been working so hard and so many different projects and uh, things were spinning and spinning and spinning and suddenly there was a crash and a stop, right? And at first, there was a day or so of a kind of relief. I didn't have to go anywhere, do anything. I mean, I had to do everything, but I didn't have to do it then. It's kind of relief. And then the anxiety set in. Ultimately, it, I found those you're with yourself, you know, and time, time um, takes on another aspect. Experiencing that time, meaning, um, whereas before I thought, well, you're doing nothing, you're sitting there doing nothing, but no, you're, you, you're still, <laughs> you're existing. That's one thing. I have been in this room basically with no end in sight still in a sense no end in sight for me anyway um a sense of relief uh, settled in and a real sense of freedom a sense of freedom um because I, you can't do anything else i don't know how much i don't know how much longer i'm going to be in this room uh I don't know when we're going to be able to actually start production on this film. Um, I do know that if we're given the grace of time and life, we will be in production somehow. What that production is going to be like, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. So what I look forward to in the uh, future is uh, uh, to carry with me what I'm kind of forced to learn under these circumstances, which is um the essential essential again people you love be able to take care of them and be with them as much as you can i remember the last time i saw kira stami alive uh, we were at a dinner in lyon a few years ago and he looked at me and says don't do anything you don't want to do he knew he understood um one can't depend on time um, one doesn't know. So ultimately, that time has to be worth it, even if it's just existing, even if it's just being alive, breathing, if you can, under these circumstances. How come you know so much about the stars? Oh, I don't know. Except that after lights out, nights I couldn't sleep. I used to look at them through the bars. I knew they had names, and pretty soon I got to wondering which was which. So I got me a book from the prison library and began to study up on it. I don't guess there's a better place in the whole world for learning about stars than star. Right up there's the constellation of Orion. Where? There. Otherwise known as the Big Bear. 
You see that bright star in the center? That's Betelgeuse, the red giant. Brightest star in all the heavens. Only it's so far away, I don't seem like it. 